So today I'm going to be covering orthographic projections and explain to you how and why they are used. If you simplify an object, be it a toaster or a more complicated form like a car, most objects are made up of six sides. Whether drawing the form in perspective or transferring the object into a 3D modeling program, drafting views helps with understanding the scale of an object and also helps with keeping everything accurately in proportion to the original drawing. There is ortho and iso grid paper out there that you can use, but for this video I'll be sticking to printer paper and using a ruler and a few ellipse guides for the sake of accuracy. Usually when drafting, you'll do three views consisting of a top view, a right side view, and a front view. And depending on how complicated the object is, the more views you want to include. Now let's draft an object that most people are familiar with, an inhaler. The top view is going to be made up of a 1x2 rectangle and will mainly consist of two concentric circles in the first square and a rectangular shape filling half of the second square. While the side view, consisting of a 2x3 rectangle, will determine the height of the form. As for the front view, being a 1x3 rectangle will give us more information on the shape of the mouthpiece and additional detailing of the overall form. And as you are drawing, be sure to create reference points to later project in perspective. I advise you to use the duplicating method to ensure everything will be more accurate in perspective. And as you are drawing the inhaler, don't forget to transfer the reference lines you made from the orthographic views to the isometric view.